Hey guys. <laughs> Whoa, pop. Hair is pretty stupid, I know. But you deal with it. I got my light works open right now. About to be video editing the entire fucking day. They can make clips, etc., etc., etc. Kung Fu, Chun Lin Cut, Chun Live, Jimmy Chun Live. Bunch of stuff to do. Crazy, right? Um, my life is so busy. Wow, I'm such a busy person. Wow. Isn't this guy great? Isn't this Jimmy Chun guy great? Anyways, so yeah, what I want to talk about today is. <sighs> Goal, aspirations, goals, and tasks. And what do I mean by this? I mean how you should sort out your tasks and goals and aspirations, etc. I'll explain them right now. Aspirations are your aspirations. <laughs> your aspirations are the huge, unbelievable goals that you want to reach. There are goals that you will want to reach one day, but they are the unbelievable goals you want to reach. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. Fucking with this fly in my room, bro. It's crazy, bro. I don't know if I'm like an American. I lost all my British grandeur. Whatever, dude. Those goals. I'm actually really speaking like an American right now. Like a, like a tint of a, a hint, a tint of American. Too much fucking YouTube. <laughs> too much bling empire. What do you do? What do you want too much bling empire? See, aspirations are the unbelievable goals that you believe that it's very, very difficult to reach and you might not reach it, etc. etc. They're the aspirations what you aspire to be. For some people, it could be that 10 out of 10 physique. Well, I think that's quite believable. That's a goal to me. And some people might be the Rolls Royce. That's 400k for a car. If you're making 4 million, no, even 4 million, 40 million. 4 million is quite low. For a Rolls Royce, because then that's a large chunk of your money gone, and that money, if you're making four million, like you still gotta survive for that money for food and rent bills, etc., etc. Traveling the world, I'd rather much rather travel the world instead of. I much rather travel the world instead of fucking spend that on a car. If I get forty million, boom, or you know even forty million, fifteen, fifteen million, then the Rolls Royce is coming through the drive. That's a goal. To me, that's a goal. But if someone could be having like ten million dollar net worth. Um, Five million dollar cash flow monthly or we are yearly basis. Rolls Royce, ten out of ten physique, beautiful woman. That's the aspirations, right? Those are the goals that they they, they seem to be unbelievable. That's the goals you put at the top because those, those are the goals you're going to be uh, contributing to. Uh, those are the aspirations, the aspiration, the aspirational goals. Those are what you're going to be contributing to. The fuck is making me? It made me lock out of my own uh, life works. Free ninety days. Okay, dude. Please select the language. Are you serious right now, bro? Fix the default. Oh, I hate flexible. Next. I already know how light works. Works. Light works. Works. And then after that, you have the goals that contribute to the aspirations. So five million dollar a year. What can you? What is your immediate goals that you can do that can or, that can contribute to the aspirations? How can you make five million dollars a year? Well, first of all, you need to have a business, uh, entrepreneur, corporation type setting. There's no way a job will pay you five million dollars a year. You would be a massive expense to that company, and unless you brought immense value to that company, you could not get five million dollars a year. And if you did get five million dollars a year from a corporation type setting, it would be tax to oblivion because you don't have to fucking do your taxes properly, so you, you pay less tax. So four five, it really like fifty percent tax. It's not even forty five percent, fifty percent. To no, they'll, they'll even take any more with like fucking. They'll, they'll come up with some random shit to take more money off you. It'll be like 5 million, 3 million gone. <laughs> so they're relatively making that much money, especially in a job. But if you're in a corporation stuff setting, there's always loopholes that you can think, take care of. Pay less tax. I'm not telling you like, to fucking break the law and pay less tax. Pay your tax due. Move to Dubai. That's, not, that's legal. That's not illegal. That's legal. Dubai, Dubai is already there. Okay, and after you have your goals that contribute to aspirations, okay, so make a company, providing value to the co economy. Five million dollars. How much do we make a month to make five million dollars? Five million times divided by twelve. Uh, Google. Five right. So five million divided by. 
It is 416,666. Yo! $1,000. Uh, $1, I see dollars. So you need to earn 420k a month. To earn $5 million a year. What is that? Roughly 420k times 12. That's five, uh, five million and forty grand a year. So you need only four hundred k, four hundred twenty k a month. That's more. Than, that's insane. Like, average salary is not like hundred k, by the way. The average salary, like, not even fifty k. Fifty k is quite large for an average salary. Especially in the UK, it's like twenty seven k average salary in the UK. You need to be making four hundred twenty k a month. You need to be making 400k more than the average fucking yearly salary in the UK. How we do that with the co corporation company selling? How can you do that again? Products slash service business. Have it ideally have as a hard product, hard service type of business. If you can't do it, you can do it online. Sure, online is also good in the sense that you can reach more people, reach more customers. But then again, percentage margins of like um, thing. No, not click through rate. It's not, not click through rate, but actually like transmission through rates. T R Transmission through rate THR. I guess you can have basically the sales through rate. How many? So basically, if you get like 200 clicks and only two people buy it, that's like a thing 1% um, sales through rate. That's the thing. Sales rate. I don't know. I had it. I heard it in some e commerce dropshipping video before. And I don't remember it again. And then after you have those goals, all right, it's still difficult to achieve, but they do contribute to your aspirations. So your aspirations is the big, big dog. Goals are the second big dog. And then after that, you have your tasks, the tasks that you can do immediately, which contribute to the goals, to the aspirations. Learn programming, learn how company works, S Corporation, C Corporation, LLC, in the UK, LTD. Learn how to manage staff, how to hire staff, ba the basis, basic basis of staff, the basic basis of staff, Jesus Christ, say that 15 times. The basic basis of staff is, well... They either save you time with an assistant or something. They save you time and they, they, do, they do manual shit like check your emails and reply to emails and fucking do accounting for your assistant type shit. Or they are sales staff which they make you money. So the sales staff make you money. The, the assistant the, uh, thing, the assistant time staff, they save you time. So it, it, staff usually go between two like fucking demographics. Save time, make money. In, in the bare basics of business, right? And then when you reach a large corporation, you might even say like, why do large corporations hire people that, uh, you know, really don't really contribute to the companies, etc, etc. Well, they did hire people that don't really, co don't really contribute to the companies, and guess what happened? A bunch of them got fucking fired thereafter. Even the ones that were, hi that were deeply loyal to the companies. So you, you have to remember that the job is not fucking, because it's an income. It's not, the job is not, <laughs> the job is not fi um, inc incredibly secure. There is risks, inherent risk when it comes to jobs, or you get fired at a whim's notice. You gotta remember that, guys. Especially during COVID, that, that fucking made everyone think about it. That's why everyone like started their own business and shit and got rich during COVID, because they had to. Because if they didn't get rich, they would be fucking suffering. There's my job still. There's this chair. On, this is on. This is uneven ground in my room, bro. Anyways, you will think about the t uh, learning about this type of shit, learning our basic entrepreneurship, reading books, millionaire fast lane, unscripted, unscripted great writers, right, 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 escape, psychology of sales, the art of the deal, Brian Tracy. Jesus Christ. Rich Dad Poor Dad by Thing. By Robo Kiyosaki. What was it again? <laughs> um, I was going to say Money Master the Game on Tony Robbins, but apparently it's a fucking Fagazi scam book. It just teaches you fucking stock shit. Well, off my time. I'm not going to read that book if it is it's about that. Awaken the Giant Within by Tony Robbins, though, when he was a good. Motivational, inspiring character. Um, what was it again? Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. You know, these are the fucking books. $100 million, by, $100 million offers by Alex Homozi. Bro, these type of books that are inspiring, that are educational, that are funny, that will get you up and going. Those are the tasks. Tasks, goals, aspirations. I'm going to be, I'm going to the video. Tasks, goals, aspirations, guys. Think of it linearly. Think of it like a video game. Think of life like a video game. Where you take one goal at a time you take one step at a time i sound really american right now i lost all my british grandeur i lost all the british i just woke up and this is how i sounded like seriously bro too much american maybe i should watch more british tv shows <clears throat> perhaps i should watch more british tv shows and then perhaps i will regain my british grandeur
See that a bit of it coming back. Then it goes. As quickly as it comes, it goes. I don't give a fuck, bro. It's just an accent. An accent's an accent. I do sound fucking weird as fuck, though. <laughs> I'm supposed to be in England. And I'm supposed to... My cow's outside my door. Scratch the door. No, I'm not there anymore. I want to be in England sounding British as fuck. And I don't sound British at all. I just sound like an outsider, dude. Especially with the dude. Um, I think I'm going to hit a workout now. This is my workout. It's quite intense. And I'm trying to do it all at once. Get that intensity. Because if I don't do it all at once, then I kind of like, it's not intense enough. But then I was telling, my friend was telling me, oh yeah, you too much endurance. But nah. So skipping five times five, five minute rounds and five rounds. Shadow boxing, three minute rounds, five minute, uh, five rounds. Three to five minute rounds, five rounds. I want to do three minute rounds. Push pull workout. Basic pull up eight reps. I, I level up to from five five times five to eight times five, which is much more intense. That's so it went from twenty five overall reps to forty overall reps. I'm trying to reach the fifty overall reps section. So eight times five, uh, basic pull up, basic chin up, shorter shorter width, like K Boggy said, eight times five. So I went from five times five to eight times five, and I was eating a lot more intensity and power and you know hypertrophy in the eight times five. I feel like my muscle, my my back has got bigger and my Last got bigger as well, which is something really I really like. A neutral grip pull up, which I really really like as well. I love as well. It's like I put it in the like, love, meh, dislike, hate section here. I hate dips. I hate ab routines, and I hate running. I haven't wrote that down yet, but I do hate running. But I, that means I just have to do more of them. I just have to do more dips. So the the the, the thing I hate the most is like I have to do more. Is what it is. Neutral grip pull up, and then there's also three variations of chin ups wide grip, shoulder grip, tight grip. One set of wide grip pull ups at eight reps each, three sets of shoulder grip, shoulder grip, shoulder length grip um, thing pull ups. And here, so wide grip, one set, three sets of shoulder grip, one set of tight grip, really hitting that bicep. Push ups 15 times five, I can do 50 in a row, but I think 15 times five is good for hypertrophy. 15 times 5, 35 reps. Diamond and dumb push ups, 10 times 5, 50 reps. Again, reaching the hypertrophy amount, but I can't really do much uh, dumb push ups. I can do like 20 in a row. And that's like my pure maximum. And if I try to do any more after 20 rows, I can't really do 20, 20 row, 20 row, 20 row. I can't do 20, 20, 20, 20. You know what I'm saying? I can only do 10, 10, 10, 10. And I gotta like separate out a bit because then my muscles get fatigued. And if I don't do any more, I'm just like <laughs> failure. Decline push ups, I really like decline push ups 15 times 5, even though they're fucking difficult as fuck. I do like them a lot. I love them even. Incline push ups, meh. I don't know, it kind of hits the lower chest a bit. I don't know, there's, there's a lot of argument about the lower chest, high chest. I don't care. I just train. <laughs> Boxing circuit, push ups, burpees, up and downs, mountain climbers, star jumps, down push ups, squat jumps. I think I'm missing something as well. Uh, I, already, I think I got most of it. Burpees, up and mountain climbers, yeah. I got most of it, I'm missing one thing, two things. And then that's in a three minutes to four minute round in boxing, you just like siphon through them within the three minutes really quickly, like, like, uh, not even a minute of push ups, not even a minute, like 30 seconds push ups, 30 seconds burpees, 30 seconds up and downs, 30 seconds climb on climbers, 30 seconds start jumps, 30 seconds down push ups, 30 seconds push ups. The amount doesn't matter so much, what matters is that you siphon it through. Uh, no, it doesn't matter, you have to do at least five to ten reps with that thing so it's really intense and it really burns that fat that's why boxing guys get so shredded because they're doing you know intense circuit training and then the ab routine 50 crunches 50 leg raises 25 uh, side leg raises 50 toe taps 50 Russian twists 50 bicycle crunches one minute plank in parenthesis three and that's my routine for working out I only have followed the top part of the routine to be honest uh, the skipping and the basic pull up I have skipped shadow boxing like a fucking idiot I'm gonna be honest with you guys I don't push up done push ups dips but it hasn't been like, you know, super going through the motions oriented like this. And I, today I want to attempt it. I did the 5 times 5 sleeping before and it was fine. I had a third step break, I felt fine. Um, usually my legs, my, my feet feel fucking, my calves, not my feet, my calves, my feet. Yeah, my calves and my feet, they feel really like tense after. But I, with the third second break, I think you got, I got ample rest time. The 5 times 5 is good. 3 times 5 is too short. 5 times 5 is perfect. I might even put it up to 7 times 5. Well, 5 times 5 is 25 minutes. Oh. Oh, it's 30 second break in between. So, 5 30 second breaks. That's. So that's 2 minutes, 30 seconds of a break. 25 minutes uh, for the skipping. That's 27 minutes. 
and 30 seconds in total. And then the shadow boxing, 3 times 5, that's 18 minutes worth of shadow boxing. Uh, and then yeah, basically pull up another time, but basically pull up, I just try to do the pull ups with a 10 second break in between. That's it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I hope this video was educational and informational and beneficial to you. I hope that you get learn something from that, and that's how I will structure my goals as well. I have, I have structured them like a while back, but I am going to do them again now because I want to recollect everything. Because tasks, you get a lot of tasks done. I got a bunch of these. I'll consider tasks like upload YouTube videos, buy a skipping rope, go through Imangaji uh, stuff, YouTube videos, drop this dropshipping course, mimic edit video, edit mimic video. Create TikToks, watch this, watch this educational video, learn coding. It's tasks, alright? It's not goals. These are just the task sheets I have. You should have the aspiration and the big chunk and the whole page to aspiration. Two pages for goals. What, like uh, five pages for tasks that you need to do. There's always work to do, ladies and gentlemen. There's always fucking work to do. I'm not going to it. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. There's always work to do. And you have to understand there's always going to be work to do no matter what you fucking do. And, and you should be happy that there's always work to do. At least you're not a lazy bum doing absolutely nothing with your day. At least it's something to do in your life. You know, there's always work to do, guys. So I have that mindset going into this. Write on a bunch of shit. All the menial tasks. Once you once you took them off, I really wish I could sort them like a notion. You could like kind of delete them and then look at the ones that you have because I hate looking at the ones I've already done. So I used to be like, yeah, super high. I've done a bunch of goals. But honestly, like if when I have a bunch of stuff I've already done. It often like kind of clouds my judgment. It's quite difficult to see the stuff that I need to do. So I wouldn't recommend writing down tasks. I would actually recommend putting tasks in the computer. I would recommend writing down goals and aspirations and look at them constantly. Make them and put them in a place like here. I put them. I got I got my stuff here. My routine that I don't follow. Cause I made a new one, but I might follow it. Five a.m. wake up. Stick or twist. Thank you first man for hands up. Joins me. Books that I, that I need to read. I took them off, but I should have said books I need to obtain. I got all these books. Hard work is easy for him. Suho Kim. What do I want from this life? Brutal termination, consistency, and think about the money. Think about money, brother. Think about money. It's quiet. That's what I want from this life. And uh, yeah, but uh, I want to try to reach my hour meditation goal today. So uh, I think. Of the a lengthy computer session, computer work session, I will reach that. I will catch you guys in the next video. I hope this is beneficial to you. Catch you, catch you guys right, right the British, the British, the British, the right hand. So we anyway, catch you guys in the next video. Bye bye. How long is the video? Seventy minutes fifty-three. Guys, we're going to twenty-minute session, guys. I want to talk about bullshit for the next half. <laughs> Do I read my journal to you guys? My journal is pretty much sad, lonely, money. That's it. I'm quite a shallow person, guys. I just want money. I really want my segment. Today, uh, 23rd. Today, I am grateful for Bling Empire. It's superficial, I know, but I feel like this show reinvigorated this intense desire to grow and succeed. If you have the right connections, you can have it all. Net worth is your net worth. So, who do I know? This guy, maybe. This guy, maybe. This guy, maybe. I genuinely, I'm genuinely unsure. Fuck, man. I just want to be. I just want to shower. Random thoughts. I should have I want to be rich. <sighs> Sorry, you're all over the place. Catch you guys in this video. That was the third time I've done that. Is it 20 minutes? 80 minutes. Two. Oh my god, guys. One more minute, guys. One more minute. Uh, so, 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 how are you doing today? 20 minute video, guys. AdSense. AdSense, guys. Uh, uh, uh. No one watches my videos. I'm kind of happy that no one watches my videos so I can upload more now. I'm only more now. Because if someone actually was watching my videos like a bunch, I would get nervous and shy. But no one does, so it's easy. That's not good. You ideally want to get a bunch of videos. Yeah, you, want, you want your videos to get a bunch of views. Bye-bye. Aspirate, no tasks, goals, aspirate.